Yo guys, welcome back to another episode of Path to Power. Now I am bringing you my rewards. If you guys didn't see on Twitter, I did say that my rewards will be out on my day when I'm recording this. Elite three. The reason why I did not, uh, I did not upload any footage from London was because something was wrong with my Elgato and my connection for some reason. Uh, every single time I was dropping and I went into a game, it would automatically, uh, it would start lagging. It would start lagging, which is when it, sorry, it will start lagging and it will be, um, the, the, the gameplay will actually be unplayable so I couldn't actually do anything, it would just jitter and stop, jitter and stop so I couldn't actually do anything and uh, it would kick me out eventually but luckily most of the times while, when I was playing I was actually drawing so um, I didn't actually, I didn't actually get a loss, I, I did get a loss once uh, but other than that I actually, um, I only got one loss and I had to replay those games all over again and uh, yeah, so we did get Elite 3, this is the team of the week, Higuain, Shiri, Salah, Ramsey, Mkhitaryan, Hummels, uh, that Brazilian left back called Tellez, uh, this is the team that we're going to rock with this weekend, Willian, we did pack him in our monthlies, we also packed him in our monthlies as well, Icon, Burkamp, Christmas, Asper Equator, Pogba, Bakayoko, Martial, Alba, and I think, I think this, this um, I, I don't think I actually showed you a footage with, um, with, with Ramos, uh, so he is a new signing that I did get. I don't think I showed you a footage yet. I think th I think this is the first week of actually playing with Ramos. Um, so yeah, I did get Ramos um, this weekend, and uh, let's just hope. Let's just hope um, Ramos could actually perform. Now I'm going to show you some gameplay this week, uh, but we are going to get into the 100k pack. We did get a Swedish. Obviously, we think it's going to be Forsberg, but we actually do pack Ibrahimovic. 88 rated Ibrahimovic comes out and he starts dabbing. Now, um, now that I think of it, as I'm recording this uh, audio, I really should have put him into an, uh, a Ferdinand SPC, but I decided to sell him just because I needed the coins because I wanted to get a keeper upgrade. Because as you guys saw, I did have Courtois and goal, and I wanted to keep it upgrade. Um, so I tried to get David De Gea. So I sold him. Um, I sold everything. Uh, I, I sold everything high rate that I packed, except for Gomez, Nani, and De Rossi. I'm gonna put them to an SBC. But I sold um, Ibrahimovic. He goes for about thirty something k. I thought he'd go for about forty, sixty at least, but he goes for about thirty something k. Um, stored all of them in the club. I stored. I sold everything in the club, and I sold back Yoko Skirtle and the Mao or whatever how you say how you say his name. But we're gonna get into this premium team in the week pack. We can get any one of those top eight players. Higuain. Salah, uh, Ramsey, Mikita, Hummels. Hummels would be a good one because I think I'll put him into an SPC or if he's going for about 200k, I'll actually put him into, um, um, I'll actually sell him. But unfortunately, we do get the main man that scored the hat trick. We do get Ramsey. Uh, he, he went for about 30k. So basically, the rough, roughly same amount as Ibrahimovic went for. And I feel like this Ajax kit is actually a lucky kit because uh, if you guys don't know, in FIFA 17 I was wearing the Ajax kit and I um, I packed Team Seeds and Messi. And I feel like I feel like this Ajax kit um I feel, I feel like I feel like I feel like it's like a a, a good luck charm. And uh, we actually do pack a, a decent pack. When you say it's the rubbish pack, I say it's a decent pack. We do get I think an 83 rated percentage back Brazilian and 81 uh, an 81 Italian left wing place of Florentina. They went for about 17k, 15k. I think he went for about 10k, I think he went for. He really didn't go for much. He went for about 10k, 11k. He really didn't go for much. Uh, but we did sell all of them on. Unfortunately, I can't show you that. But we are going to jump into the gameplay. We are 24 and 6 in our first 30 games. In our 30 games, 24 and 6. The team at Rocket with you guys have already seen it. But with David De Gea in goal at this time. This team performed really well. I did like the way the team performed. Uh... Custom tactics weren't that difficult. Kept it really simple. Decided to put um, Christmas Asplicrate instead of Bayer. I feel like Bayer makes way too many mistakes. Um, and Asplicrate defending is just way better because he has better interceptions, better stand tackles, better slide tackles. It's just the height for me. Um, it's not just headering the height, um, the height for headering and stuff like that. It's the fact that he doesn't have long enough legs. Uh, sometimes to intercept the ball or to like or to like pass it out to clear it out. Sometimes that's what I feel like with Aspilicueta. So I feel like I need to get Ferdinand really quickly because uh, I feel like if I get if I get Prime Ferdinand, it will actually help me out a bit. Because like whenever I come up against Prime Ferdinand, I feel like he has some special trait which slows your strikers down and makes him faster. Like it re it really does feel like that because like, like Wilson has about ninety four pace. 
and whenever he comes up against Ferdinand, it's like he has like 75 pace. It's like Ferdinand just slows him down somehow. Uh, but we do win this game 3 0. Guy does rage quit. It's our 25th win. And when you come up against Ferdinand and Blanc, Ferdinand and Blanc, absolute beautiful pair. Like, the, you, you actually cannot do anything against those two. But I do manage to do something against them. Um, I would say it's quite a lucky goal because Blanc could have got that, uh, could have got that tackle, and Ferdinand could have um, blocked that with that slide tackle. I think I did get a bit lucky here, but we do make it one nil. Now he does, um, he does run through with Salah. I thought I was going to get the ball after the equator, that's why I lunged, but unfortunately didn't get it. He makes it one one in the thirty second minute, but we do come back down in the thirty seventh minute. With Martial holding up the ball, waiting for Wilson to get into a good position, and Wilson does low driven. Uh, that wasn't low driven finesse, that was just low driven. And he does make it 2 1 in the 38th minute. Now, in the 40th minute, he is here with Terry Henry. We tackle him, but he does, but back is going to trip up. And we gave we gave Kante way too much space to think about it, and he does punish me with Griezmann's left foot, making it 2 2 in the 41st minute. I can't really do anything about that, that is totally my fault. Um, he finds Thierry Henry. I have to mark the run. I can't do anything about that. And it's just Thierry Henry. You can't really do anything. Like, if he, as soon as Thierry Henry shoots, it's going to be a goal. Uh, and he does make it 3 2 in the 102nd minute. I could have defended this a whole lot better with Sergio Ramos. Probably ran towards um, ran towards Gabriel Jesus. But I like to look for the block. Um, I know the block can sometimes cost you, but. I feel like whenever I run towards them, I don't actually achieve anything. Uh, but when I get the block, I feel like I feel like um, I feel like somehow the block actually works because I get it for a corner. Now in this bit, I press the middle button because in the update it said that if you press the middle button, you automatically forfeit a game. Now they said if you press the pause button, then then you don't. And and if you, if you press the pause button, then you press the home the Xbox home button, you don't get forfeited. But I didn't know that once you resume the match, that um, that that's not the pause menu anymore. So I wanted to test. I've, I've been wanting to test out for the whole entire forty games. I decided to do it because I knew I wasn't going to win that game. So um, I did it and I just got kicked out of the game. But um, you know, it, it happens. It happens. I can't really do anything about it. But um, we are just going to jump straight back on to to get this elite three or potentially elite two. Um, now, I don't know what this guy's body was doing. His body was doing some type of dance or something. But he does rage quit just because, you know, it's 2-0. Two, it's, 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 it's going to be 2-0. And there's like three hours or two hours left on the weekend league. So there's no point in staying in the game. But we do, but we do jump straight back into another game. He does have the lone Shevchenko, Gabriel Jesus, Prime, Del Piero, Team in the group stage, Firmino, Petacek, Bailly, um, Koscielny and stuff like that. But, um... We did get into this game with Sergio Ramos. Sergio Ramos, I don't know how he got to that. Probably because of his, his long legs and how tall he is. I don't know how he got to that, but he slotted it. Bottom corner to make it 1-0. Wilson with the ball once again. Finds William. William fakes out back Yoko. Low driven finesse. Makes it 2-0. This guy quits again. I had loads of rage quits this week. I don't know why. Whenever I go 2-0 up, people just automatically quit. And, uh, yeah. Also, I do have an announcement for, um, to make. Um... Uh, the reason why you guys see my YouTube name and my Twitter name is not Imperial Adapts anymore is because the, um, the Imperial Academy has disbanded, so we have all gone our separate ways, and um, it is it is it is quite sad to actually hear um, the the academy has actually been disbanded. But that's what happens. You can't really do anything about it. Um, I ha haven't changed my Xbox name yet. I'm going to change it later. I'm not sure when I'm going to change it, but I will change it later. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make that quick announcement for you guys. Uh, Imperial Academy has disbanded. The Imperial team is still up and running. It's just the Academy that has been disbanded. Um, so if you guys see me in a game and you guys happen to beat me, I'm not in Imperial anymore. Um, but GG, if you guys if you guys did beat me this weekend, leave it in the comment section down below. GG to you guys. Um, but yeah, we do make it 3-1 in the 35th minute in this game. This is our second to last... This is yeah, our second to last game of this episode. We make it 4-1 with Willian in the 40th minute. Then five minutes later, we come down with Willian. Pass it to Burkamp. Burkamp finds Wilson. And Wilson does find the back of the net. And I feel like Willian is involved in every single play you guys have seen. 
Willian has been on the ball. Now, I read this, but um, Aspilicke couldn't get the ball. Uh, as I was saying, Willian is involved in every single play you guys have possibly seen in this in this gameplay. Because Willian, in this in this in this weekend league, Willian was the most effective player um, out of the whole entire forty games. I would class him as man of the match, the best the best player on this pitch throughout the whole entire forty games. Burkamp wasn't wasn't the best player. Gabriel Jesus wasn't the best player. Martial wasn't the best player. It was Willian and David de Gea. Because David de Gea did save me a bit, but it was mostly Willian because he was involved everywhere. And this is going to be the last game. They come against play the month son. Sorry, prepare them out for Salah, Red, Red Sun, Red Anatovic, Red, that CD, I don't know what his name is, Petit, and we do come against Rio Ferdinand as well. Now, Wilson does get things started off here, making it 1-0 in 27th minute. This guy was a really good player in the 31st minute. I don't know how, I do not know how, don't even ask me how he actually got through there. I have no, he just, one through ball just split my whole entire defense. The two centre-backs were absolutely clueless on what to do. He made it 1-1. Then Alessandrini holding the ball up. Jordi Alba, absolute rocket. Absolute rocket. Making it 2-1. I, I just love Jordi Alba. I don't know why I sold him. I absolutely love him. And uh, Gabriel Jesus playing a ball straight to Alessandrini. Alessandrini slotting that bottom, bottom bins. And guys, we do achieve it once again. Elite 3. We actually did get 31 wins, not 29. I'll probably show a picture of that at the end of the episode. Um, but um, yeah, that's what actually this is the end of the episode. So uh, we did, we did actually get elite. Uh, we did, we got elite three. We got thirty one. Could have got thirty two, but we came against a pro player, God Squad, and uh, it, just, it just it just wasn't meant to be. But I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Don't forget to hit like button and the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.